Hi there, I'm doing a big batch of um, various different lunches as holiday um, organisation. I already have lots of um, evening meals in the free in the deep freezer ready to eat. I'm having one tonight, but um, I thought it would be a good idea to get some lunches done um, in advance so that all I have to do is pull things out of the freezer and the cupboards and pack a quick um, picnic because I'm going to be making pizza muffins, I'm going to be making mini quiches and I'm going to be making a sort of KFC-esque type chicken though it's baked and I also want to make a massive amount of chilli to have as uh, meals when we're at home I don't know how much I'm going to get today, but I'm going to try and string all these um, recipes together and get a nice little video for you. So without further ado, here we go. This is the pizza muffin recipe. And um, keep in mind I'm tripling all of these batches. Not only that, but my initial batch is um, enough for a family of nine, including a, a baby who's not quite one yet. but. Um, Nevertheless, it's probably double what um, a, a regular <laughs> size family may need. Um, and I'm then tripling that. So I'm starting with six cups of flour. So if you're only wanting to make one batch, you would just have your two cups of flour. Um, now, to that, I am going to add now I've seen quite a few recipes floating around YouTube and I've just come up with what seems like a good idea for me. And you can of course change this, you can make it vegetarian by omitting the, the ham um, and you can even make it vegan if you want to use vegan cheese and um, some sort of other milk substitute. So um, to the bowl of flour I'm adding um, cheese, so I've got about three cups of um, shredded tasty and then I've got about I think about a cup and a half um, maybe a cup a cup of I'm just using Romano cheese it's quite a salty cheese so if you wanted to use a feta or something equally as salty a parmesan perhaps um, something like that go ahead I think I've got about five cups of zucchini and I've only used four zucchinis because instead of six because they're all on the last side. At about a cup. Now I've used a 280 gram jar of sun-dried tomatoes, which equals just over a cup. And um, also I'm adding around about three quarters of, of a cup, bit, bit up, but just a bit under one cup of um, olives, I'm using um, Kalamata olives and I have, they're pitted and I've just chopped them up. If you have the patience you could use unpitted because they do have more flavour. Um, and I've just used an entire 350 gram jar. A mixture of two to three red onions depending on the size, it's about a cup and a half, and garlic. It's just a mixture and I've fried that in olive oil. And I'm also going to add around about three cups, two to three cups of, you could use bacon, which you would then have to fry with your onion and garlic, but I'm using leftover ham, which I have just diced up. And as I said, I'm just going to use about three cups, maybe just under, doesn't matter. And I'm just going to mix all of this up. I'll get Okay, once you have all of these dry and semi-dry ingredients uh, mixed together well, you're going to want to add uh, six eggs, or if you're making one batch, just two eggs. You're going to want to add three cups of milk, or one cup of milk if you're making the one batch, and um, followed by some herbs of your choice. I'm just using Italian, mixed Italian herbs. Now the egg and milk mixture I've whisked together and I'm just pouring that in. And then I'm adding 
the mixture. So I think I'd add about that for one batch. So I'd say add about a tablespoon to a tablespoon and a half per batch and a little bit extra for good measure. And I might just attempt to use the spoon. <laughs> I've prepared my muffin tin and I've done it in <laughs> what I did is I got some baking paper and I sort of just cut it on each side and it folds into each other a bit and it just sits in there so it'll avoid my muffins sticking to the pan and it'll also be a little bit pretty and good for traveling so um, the reason why I've got a whole bunch of fruit in them is to, I'm trying to train them to stay, to sit. <laughs> so it's sort of working a little bit. Okay, and I want my muffins to be quite large because they're a sandwich substitute for when we're... And I'm just preheating pre my oven to about 170 degrees Celsius. And I do apologise, but you'll have to Google what that is in Fahrenheit if you are um, one of 50% of my audience. I know you're American. Okay. And just keep filling and keep filling until, until you ain't got no more muffin mix left. The, the fruit is working well. I recommend that if you are wanting to use your baking paper but you can't get get it to sit still just pop some fruit in there for five minutes and it'll just squish it down enough that it stays put oh, I've just lost the lemon all right so I have my three trays ready to go in the oven I'm going to pop them in I'm going to keep a very close eye on the smaller ones uh, which I'll probably just put on the lower rack and they may even take as long as the other ones because there's never an even heat distribution um, in my oven anyway so okay now these are out of the oven lovely pizza muffins I've got um, the third tray elsewhere because I can't fit every tray on this little board under here now we need to see what they taste like Anthony would you like to come thumbs up num num good um, the big pot of chili I'm doing Excuse the messy stove top, it was pristine when I started and I've been a bit of a grub. Yeah? Not the end at all. So I've popped the lid on. I'm going to turn it down to a low and cook it for at least an hour. So I'm just going to make them a sort of pastryless quiches in um, a casserole dish. It's, I'm making three enough for three lunches. So so to start with, I have, in this huge bowl, I have onions. Now I'm doing enough for three meals, for eight people really. So I have one onion per batch, therefore I have three onions. I have used about one and a half large red capsicum, or bell pepper, whatever you want to call it, and about two to two and a half large green capsicums. I've also used uh, about six zucchini and I've got about a cup to a cup and a half of cheese. I've just used cheddar and a bit of tasty, a bit of what I had um, happening in the fridge and then also in, you could add bacon, usually I would, but you can um, use your leftover Christmas ham if you have it as I did. So you just mix it all together. Normally I would put it, add a bit of salt and pepper to the egg mixture that I'm going to pour on top of this. But because I'm not quite sure how much egg mixture I'll need, I think I'll just add salt and pepper directly to this mixture. It'll make it easier. I mean, I'm adding it once and not over and over again as I potentially have to make more and more egg mixture. So. The, whole he the ham is a little bit salty, so we've got that happening for it. But I think I'll add one large pinch per batch as well. 
of sea salt and then a good bit of cracked pepper per batch. It doesn't have a whole heap of cheese. You could put more cheese, but we're having a lot of cheese dishes this fortnight and I just want to go crazy with it. So it's got the ham and I have lovely egg, you know, as quiches do. So there'll be plenty of flavours happening. Okay, so right, so now what I'll do is I'm just gonna spray it with oil just to be a bit lazy it'll come up fine I'm sure and that one <laughs> I'm inhaling the spray oil again all of this lovely mixture into your dishes you know what, I might actually, I have this dish over here, I might actually use it, instead of that little one, I was going to use, so it's quite a bit of prep work I'm doing this afternoon, but it's all well worth it, when I say afternoon, I started all of this at 4.30, uh, we've had dinner, the kids have recently gone to bed and it's 8.05, so I've been doing this for three and a half hours so far. <laughs> six eggs and about half to three quarters of a cup of milk and repeat the process and then we are done and ready to put them in an oven. I'm putting them in a preheated oven about hmm, 180 degrees uh, Celsius, that's fan force. So we could even go like 200, no I'm thinking 180 is a good idea and just go nice and slow. Um, how many do we have there? Six, I think. Okay, I think. Let me count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. Yeah. Okay, pour that over. chicken drumsticks with some spices that are sort of like um, KFC but much much nicer and just pop it in some flour mixture followed by egg mixture followed by the seasoned flour mixture Yum yum, pop it on the tray and continue in that way and I'll be Okay, today's big cook up is complete. So I started at 4.30 this afternoon. It's now 10.20 at night ah, <laughs> We had dinner in that time as well and got kids to bed and whatnot and I've tried to clean the kitchen as I go um, as much as possible, but I now have to unstack and stack the dishwasher and then wash a bunch of pots and pans by hand but that's the way it goes and, um, and then I'll have a shower and sleep really well um, so I have four servings of the chili all bagged up ready to go in the deep freezer I have two big lovely um, pastryless quiches which excuse the lighting in here it's really dim um, which I'm going to sort of slice into pieces, pop in bags, and then put in the deep freezer as well. And I have, I ended up with five meals worth of um, the the um, chicken wing, uh, chicken drumsticks. Um, so that's pretty good. I was planning on three, and I just ended up with so much. So that's great. And then. Um, three meals worth of the first meal we did which was the um, pizza muffins which, um, just a really simple little lunch and we'll have some yogurt and fruit and 
that sort of thing on the side to make it more substantial but just a bit nicer than a sandwich really so that's my big cook up and I think that's really going to help during these holidays um, I'm sure there's more I want to say and I might add it um, I might um, edit this in the morning because right now I'm a bit brain dead <laughs> So I thought I'd just say that um, we've already had um, some of the pizza muffins and they went down really well. Um, this is two days later and I'm about to edit and upload um, my cooking spree. And But look, I wouldn't necessarily recommend doing that bigger cook up with only one afternoon to spare. If you're just making stuff to go in the freezer for the slow cooker so therefore you don't have to do any actual cooking then that's fine you can do all of that in one afternoon but the fact that I was doing so much cooking was really really exhausting by the end of that night my feet and legs were hurting and I just felt that oh, I remember I used to um years ago I did catering and <laughs> as I was standing in the kitchen a couple of nights ago doing the dishes after all of that cooking I felt like I it reminded me it took me back to my catering days it's exhausting so I don't recommend necessarily doing that it is still worth it now in retrospect but at the time I was thinking oh I've just given my whole evening up for this and so you have to weigh it up whether you want to do it or not and look it's not necessary but now I feel pretty good about the fact that I really don't have to do any cooking at all last so I can't imagine <laughs> having seven kids and not knowing how to cook or not enjoying cooking that would really be difficult so perhaps if anything my videos might give people who don't like to cook just some ideas and perhaps a little bit more interest in it. I don't know I don't know if you can create interest in something that you just have no interest in I've tried with my husband <laughs> he still doesn't want to cook so anyway and we've still got colds around here I've got a brand new cold I never get sick and so I think it's because it's the Christmas holidays it's the big holidays of the year where I've just gone crash and we're still trying to do stuff with we're pushing through so anyway that was my big cook up video and uh, it was crazy if you want to be as crazy as me, that may have given you some ideas on some good holiday meals to prepare for kids' lunches or even going back to school. That's something I'll have to think about in the near future um, because I definitely like to have school lunches pre-prepared in the freezer for the week ahead. I think that's the only way I'm going to get through those crazy school mornings. So wish me luck. Now, another thing I want to say is... Obviously, I'd love people to, to subscribe. It's what um, is going to encourage me to keep going. With my, I'm going to keep going anyway, basically. But um, it'll help encourage me to put more and more videos up. And um, But the other thing is, please, please comment below and tell me if there's anything I didn't mention that you'd like to know or things that you'd really like me to focus on in my videos. Um, or questions so feel free to comment anything I'm happy to start discussions keep it nice <laughs> um, other than that I'll be putting I've got a couple of other videos I'm editing and popping up as well at the same time as this one so take care and see you soon